Hey everyone, welcome to Marketing by John. Today we're gonna to talk about creating content as a leader. Now we live in 2021. We are well into a pandemic and we have seen an absolute explosion of content online. And there's one thing for certain, and that is content is the quickest way to grow your brand. Whether you're looking to grow your personal brand or with your leader who's looking to grow your brand's brand, your business's brand, your business. It doesn't matter if you have a $10 million company or a $10,000 company. It doesn't matter if you are a Fortune 100 company or a startup. You have a better opportunity, have more opportunity if you put your thoughts out into the world than if you don't. So I know several old school business builders, very, very successful ones who aren't even on social media. They're like, no, social media is the death of the planet. But they're just not in tune with the world that we live in. And whether you're talking about growing your business through hiring people or by acquiring new uh, uh, customers or clients, putting content out in the world is the best way to attract anyone to your business. That includes investors. So regardless of what you're looking to do, acquiring talent, acquiring investors, acquiring customers, you need to start putting content out. So what I wanted to address in this question is some, one that I get a lot, uh, is I don't have the personality for a video. You know, you feel very comfortable talking on camera, John. Uh, I don't have that. So, you know, just because I have comfort t talking on c camera, that's, that's my good medium doesn't mean that that's what you have to use. Yours can be writing. Yours can be a blog. Yours can be a podcast where you're not actually on camera, but you can just talk into a microphone. There's a fantastic new app out. It's called Clubhouse. Clubhouse is a voice-only opportunity for you to talk live with people who care and share uh, in, in the same passions or professions that you do. So you simply need to understand that in the world we live in today, if you want to grow faster than you're growing now, probably the best way to do that is to start creating content. And the best way to start creating content is teach people what you know about the industry and the profession that you're in and just put it out into the world. That's it. Don't overcomplicate it. And the reason why this is on Marketing by John is this is a marketing strategy. If CEOs could understand the power of them putting their thoughts down on a phone, onto a blog post, into an email, onto a camera, into a podcast, jumping into Clubhouse, if they understood the power of this and really visualize, sometimes we actually do this. We actually draw like a visual, like here's how, here's what will happen if you grow a podcast or a, or a YouTube channel. If you could understand the power of this, every CEO in the world would be doing this even if they didn't want to. I know this for a fact because I'm in some of my consulting gigs, I get owners and CEOs to start doing this stuff, even though they are very against it. And they start realizing the attention that it's getting them. And they're like, oh, whoa, wait a minute. This is actually working. You're talking, if I post on LinkedIn every day and I just share my passions and things that I'm grateful for that I can grow my business. Yes, that's what I'm telling you. So, how do we do this? Step one, what is your risk tolerance, your uh, comfortability, your confidence level? So uh, I say risk tolerance because if you're in a huge publicly traded company and you want to talk about things that are not going to shed your company in a good light, well, that maybe you should get some permission or ask some people, you know, should I be doing this or maybe check yourself. So you have, to, you have to understand that by putting yourself out on social media, there's risk. There's people are going to comment negatively. There's If you're a big enough brand, there's uh, other media companies that are going to scrutinize what you put out there. So understand your risk tolerance or your company's risk tolerance. Number two, your comfort level and your confidence. So just because you don't like Facebook or just because you don't like social media, if you're old school, doesn't mean that it has positive value or it doesn't mean that it doesn't have positive value value. I don't know if that just made sense or not, but basically it has positive value. If you utilize social media to put out positive vibes and good information and educate people, you're going to get some good results from it. I guarantee you. So uh, you just have to understand, you have to measure your level of 
comfortability in it? Are you willing to accept that you might not be, it might not feel natural for you to post on a certain social media platform? It might not be, feel natural for you to post on TikTok, but if it has enough upside, are you willing to get over that comfort to be able to do it? I'll, I'll be honest with you, I don't love TikTok. I don't want to spend a bunch of time on TikTok. It's funny. I'll go on there and look at some funny videos, and I know I could grow a really big brand if I spent a lot of time on TikTok. Uh, not just me personally, but for our uh, our event, No Bull Con conference, um, it's just we have to weigh our options of where we're getting our attention and is it channeling people through the marketing funnel the way we want. You don't have to be on every single platform. You just have to find the ones that are right for you. So the ones that are right for me are YouTube, Instagram, uh, and now Clubhouse, uh, the new the new app, and uh, podcasts. And the reason is because I do very well off the cuff. I do very well if people ask me questions or if somebody gives me a topic and says, John, what do you think about this? I'm good. I'll just I'll turn, turn on the camera, hit, hit record, and start going. Clubhouse is a live audio-only interaction. You can jump in a room where people are conversing live. It's not recorded. It's not pre-recorded. You just get in there and you start riffing. That's a really good platform for me. Topics um, that I talk about on this show are great. Either my team feeds them to me or I think of an idea and I hit the record button and I talk about it. Audio goes in through this microphone and it goes over to my podcast. That's a really good format for me. You know what is not a good format? Writing. Uh, even though I consider myself a decent writer, um, writing, I don't have the patience for it. I don't have the patience to sit down and write a thoughtful blog post uh, or email. So that's just not a good fit for me. So you need to find your comfortability and then lastly, your confidence. Are you confident about what you're talking about? Do you feel like you can walk and talk circles around your industry and whatever it is your expertise is? If so, then you're good. You should be able to create content every day, all day long. But if you're new to an industry, uh, you might not feel confident. You might want to take a step back from the leadership position and go more towards the student position. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk says this really well. He talks about uh, writing about the process. If you don't know what the process looks like or what's at the end of the process, write about the process or create content around the process. So if I were to start the, it, my marketing agency over again, um, a podcast that I would start would be what it's like to grow a marketing agency. And I, from day one, would start and say, listen, all I know how to do is write and copyright. Like, I don't know how to do this other stuff. So here's what I'm doing. I'm going over to Upwork to find some video uh, freelancers over there that I can hire and bring in and, and teach me more about video for our clients. And, and I'm, you know, I'm reading these great books, which are helping me understand more about marketing funnels and Facebook ads. So if you are not comfortable enough and confident enough to be the leader in your podcast or on your show or in your blog, then be the student. People still want to consume content and learn from somebody who's learning right along with them. In fact, they might even be attracted to you even more because you're at their level. So uh, risk tolerance, comfortability, and confidence uh, to figure out what type of content you should be putting out. But the fact still remains, if you are not happy with the growth you're having right now, either with your personal brand, your profession, in terms of getting... Uh, promotions and whatnot or good opportunities or your business, put out more content. You're much more likely to get recognized and get uh, the attention of the people or customers that you want to. That's it for today's show. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, smash that like button if you're listening to the podcast. Leave me a good review. Um, people need to know that this show is good if you like it. Uh, you can leave a bad review if you didn't like it. That'll provide some good feedback, but hopefully you don't. And then head over and uh, uh, either LinkedIn or YouTube and hit the follow or subscribe button. That's where you're going to see all my great marketing content. Till next time, we'll see you later.